This is Wizard Online's biggest flaw. Hello everybody, it's Liam here and welcome to today's video on the channel. And in today's video, I am still sick, so if I sound like a dying frog, I apologize. But uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about what I think is the biggest flaw in Wiz, in my opinion. Now, as always, if you guys disagree, let me know why down there in the comments below. And if you think there is something else that is an even bigger flaw in Wiz, let me know down there in the comments below. And any like ratings or subs on this video would be appreciated. I feel like shit. I sound like shit in this video. But I still want to make a video for y'all because I absolutely love making content for y'all. So without further ado, let's get right into this video, y'all. So the biggest flaw of Wizard 101, in my opinion, is going to have to be the crown shop, guys. Now, the crown shop isn't that bad. However, there's a very specific part about the crown shop I want to talk about, and that's going to be the pack system. I think the pack system and the crown shop is really handled poorly, and it's basically living in the past, you know, back when loot boxes were in 2016, 2018 back when they were popular, stuff like that, you know. Uh, the world's moved on now, but Wiz has not innovated their pack system since then at all, unfortunately. I could also talk about the way to overpriced bundles in the Crown Shop. However, I will say they have seemed to scale back on these a little bit. There used to be bundles that were like, I don't know, 100,000 crowns and stuff like that in here. You don't see those too often nowadays um bundles like this kind of they're a lot more cheaper now which is cool but there used to be ones that gave like i don't know bro like to get one pet you wanted you had to cop up like 100 100k crowns it was kind of kind of nuts so a lot of people did not like that bundle system they had so i'm happy to see they listened to feedback there and the next thing is going to be the mega stack pack it's probably the biggest scam in was history now I'm not gonna lie to y'all, when I got back into the game, guys, I bought, like, probably 40k worth of Mega Snack Packs, and I got some gifted as well. Um, they're a pretty good short-term solution. They're really expensive, though, and at the same time, you can just probably make a garden that's self-sufficient and can get you more Mega Snacks. Uh, you know, like, my storm has... Evil Magma Peas, my Fire and Life have a full plot of couch potatoes, right? I'm rocking in uh, more rewards and more snacks rather than just buying 2,000 crowns pack at a time, you know? So this, it's a good short-term investment, I guess, but I think the price is too high. Um, but you should definitely just look into gardening for long-term with making pets, guys. So yeah, this video is primarily going to be focused on the pack system. And like I said, how the pack system is kind of a relic of history now, but Wiz has failed to move on from this. A lot of players don't like the fact that it's literally like gambling, you know? You can pay X amount of money and try to go for like the, the attack badger from the druid pack here. And then even though you pay money, you won't get the thing. So... It's just kind of, kind of what the hell, you know? You can spend like $10 million and not get something. Now, personally, um, me firsthand, guys, as you know, like I'm a whiz head, uh, even argue a whale, you know? I came back to the game, I spent like a rack probably trying to get back into the game the first year. But um, for me, I've tried to get the Storm Gulcher, the... Chompy Bronto Dinosaur Mount, and I've tried to get the Storm Nightmire Robe. Now guys, I spent 100k on each one of those packs. I spent 100k on the Fossil, on the Gulcher, and I spent 112k on the Nightmire pack to finally get the Storm Robe. Now, it's kind of wild because that, in my money, is about about two seven around two seventy dollars i think after tax uh for canadian i think is per pack so if we times that by three 270 times three well i spent that much and i still don't have two out of three items i want you know so this is a huge issue and 
I know it's all RNG, like some people might get it their first pack and stuff like that. However, it's not very consumer friendly, you know? Like if you want to have like a gambling mode or something, like uh, have a gambling mode, bro. Like I don't really care. But as a consumer, it feels like absolute shit spending money and not getting something, you know, man? Like, I can't even be happy about getting the Storm Nightmare robe because I should have got that like 5,000 crowns in, you know? Not 112,000 crowns in, you know, man? That's crazy. Now, I want to talk about why the pack system might be kind of scuffed right now and offer some uh, feedback about it. About it. So, first things first, with the Nightmare pack, the problem is with this pack, guys, if you're going for one piece of gear i'm not talking about pets i'm not talking about mounts okay i'm talking about hat to deck you have a i believe it's a one in 56 chance to get the thing you want from this pack right and you're not even guaranteed one or two drops per pack so that's a huge problem right then combine that with like the mount and like all the seven other pets you know it's extremely unlikely you're ever gonna get what you want right? and i think a big thing that would make packs a lot more consumer friendly was if you're guaranteed a drop whether it's a mount a pet you know hat deck whatever but it's guaranteed for your school either that or i think they could narrow it down so not have it be from hat to deck maybe have it be i don't know hat to shoes or just like a theme to deck you know in a different pack stuff like that some way to filter out what you want would be extremely helpful or if you spend 10 packs and you don't get what you want or something uh i don't know you get you got a free pack or something like that i don't know they can maybe introduce a pity system so if i have uh seven nightmare robes i can take that to a crafting station and then i can craft the one nightmare robe that i am missing for my school you know and on the topic of that right crafting uh well, something that goes hand in hand with the packs, guys, is the fact that King Saul would be like, oh, you don't have to spend money on the packs. But the thing is, they make a new gauntlet. And A, the gauntlet doesn't work because of the bugs and, like, uh, like the drop rates are just horrible, right? Like, I did 10 runs of the new gauntlet. I didn't get a single piece of gear. And uh, keep in mind, that's 1 in 57 chance or whatever that I get the piece I want, right? Assuming I even get a, a gear drop, right, guys? So, it's uh, pretty wild, that grind, and you also cannot craft some of the gear you want from this Nightmare pack, right? If you could craft, like, the hat, robe, shoes, wand, or the, the gator mount, or the pet, or something, from farming the gauntlet, I think that's a different story. But unfortunately, King Sal just did not do this pack system, right? Unfortunately, and we have a new pack coming out soon that's going to shake up the meta again but I, i'm just afraid that they're not like they didn't get the nightmare pack right and now they're coming out with a new one and it's gonna repeat the same problem over again so that's kind of what i'm worried about here in this video guys i think the reason people say packs are pay to win right now is because the grind is so unbearable that the only option is to do the packs and that's like the better easier option unfortunately right so I don't know, man. I think they just need to make it a lot more consumer friendly in the crown shop, the pack system. And I also think the, f the farming, like the gauntlet and shit, needs to. St like, we, we seriously need to have a, like, a serious topic on this. Like, we, we cannot be selling our souls to freaking King's Isle to farm for shit and then still not get it. Like, that is, that is horrible. No player, no consumer deserves to go through that, you know, man? So. I don't know, man. That's what I think is the worst part about Wiz is definitely going to be the pack system and especially the packs that are incorporated in with farming, like the new Nightmare pack that came out uh, last month now, I believe, or something like that. Um, it's really bad because you just can't farm for the gear because it takes too long and you're not guaranteed to drop. And then even then, it's like a 1 in 57 chance. And then the pack is like not even updated to be consumer friendly. So it's pretty crappy, guys. But let me know what you guys think about this video down there in the comments below. I look forward to reading your thoughts and feedback as usual. And uh, yeah, uh, this video is probably going to be a hot take. 
might piss some people off, but that's all right. I keep it real. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching, and as always, take care, y'all.